Hey guys, what's up? You show my name's Austin Ahsoka. Episode seven is out on Disney Plus. Um, so yeah, once again, these are going to contain spoilers as the previous episodes that I've been doing. Um, if you guys don't want spoilers, go back and watch the episode and come back and uh, come back and watch the video. But that's your warning. Let's get in. This is my least favorite episode. I I officially hate Sabine. There is no redemption for this character anymore. There is simply not. It's too late for redemption. I don't give a fuck if she gets somewhat of a, you know, a change in the final episode. It's fucking too late. <laughs> it's it's too late. I I hate I hate her character, and I hate the New Republic because <laughs> it's the this and now this is when it comes to the New Republic and this episode. It's simply just bad writing. It's bad writing. It's it's awful. So this episode starts out with, you know, we're back on Coruscant. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're back on Coruscant. Um, the, this is like a court case that's going on with Hera because, you know, the New Republic, they don't believe that Thrawn is alive. They think Thrawn is dead or anything. And they, so basically, <laughs> fucking ignore all the evidence I guess that we have. It's like you have fucking two, you know, dead pilots. You have um you know, you have uh, you have you know evidence of space well wells in this freaking um <laughs> in the previous episode or uh, a couple episodes ago where literally your own fucking cruiser saw space wells. Go fucking ask them like space Oh uh, yeah, space wells. That, that, that fucking insane one's big as a ship, practically. It's like fuck, and I, I, I fuck. I swear, if somebody's to get it, I, if they're writing this one fucking dude to be like part of like you know, you know, he's secretly part of the empire or whatever. It, fine, you know that's you know that's fine. But the there's not one fucking smart person in this fucking courtroom at all. There's not one. No one on this fucking, you know, court, you know, court case table defends or points out any fucking evidence that's going on around here. You know, you, they, they fuck, what happened to the fucking Quizzers lightsaber? What happened to that? What happened, what happened to the dead, <laughs> the dead pilot? Explain that to their families. Um, and I know it's, it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous how stupid it is that no one, you know, even if they have fucking... Um, Al Alkbar, I'm pretty sure I'm saying his fucking name. Um, he he's a part of that court case, and he doesn't even say anything. He doesn't say fucking anything. Uh, it's, it's it's fucking ridiculous. And you know, there I don't think this guy is fucking evil. This guy that's accusing him for everything. I think it's just simply bad, right? Because it's been, you know, proven that this is canon that he's the father of somebody from like the Star Wars Resistance show. I didn't watch it. I, it, that's not really aiming towards me at all, so I don't know anything about it. But <laughs> so it's like this is this is bad writing. This is simply just fucking bad writing. If he just turns out to be evil, sure, why not? But then you can't. But then explain to me why everyone just allows this fucking dude, especially the woman that's in charge of this whole entire this she, who runs this whole entire resistance, is you know allowing this dude to. Freaking just like, yeah, no, they don't have fucking evidence. Just Jedi's, space schools. This is like a child story. What? Like, what? Fuck off. Fuck, just fuck off with this. Especially, and a weird cameo from C, um, P, uh, C3 P, C3 PPO. C3 PO. I just had a stroke, I had a, you know, a stroke trying to say his name apparently. Uh, oh, it's, it's, they couldn't get Leia, you know? And, you know, there's people like, oh, it's, you know, D.H. Leia, we don't need that. It's like, okay, then fucking recast, don't you? You're telling a fucking story. Pay homage to the characters, not the actors. That, that's why I'm, one thing I'm also worried about, what they're going to do with um, Balin, who is one of my favorite characters of this show, who is a fucking badass, and, and they basically rewrite his character in this episode we'll get into that later but i'm afraid what he, they're gonna do with his character he's just gonna go off on his own uh and like you know and he's just gonna disappear and that's it he's just gone they're not gonna i don't i don't think he's gonna die because that'd be too sudden and it'd be 
it wouldn't work with the next episode because there's so much for his character that they need to wrap up for that to work and it will feel rushed. Um, and um, just, just your your pay, pay, like your their characters. You know, yes, it's unfortunate that fucking Carrie Fisher has passed away, but she's but you want to use her anyways. She's like she if she was still alive, she would be like. Freaking nine years old. I don't know what age she died at. Uh, she was probably she probably wouldn't be nine years old, but she'd still be fucking old. <laughs> like, like so, recast, recast and tell the stories of these characters in their prime. Like you have a DH Luke Skywalker, fucking quit, and it doesn't. And you know it looks good in Book of Boba Fett, but how much longer can you do that for? Like you're not gonna have a full on TV show with DH Luke. Because then it'll look fucking awful. The reason why it looked good because he was just sitting there and it was slow movements. Three cast them all. You already recast Han Solo, so why can't you not recast Luke Skywalker and Leia? Where's the logic in that? I don't. You already. Uh, you also recast Lando. You're making a movie for Lando. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. It's just recast. So we can have our legacy characters part of this story. And it also would make fucking sense. Because it, it's dumb if Luke is like, yeah, I'll go over here, make my own Jedi temple, and X when I'm needed for the sequels, that 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 will happen. Um and Leia will go off and do her own thing as well. It's like off screen. Just fucking recast already. Just... Alright, moving on to another breakdown. So we cut back to <laughs> we cut back to Sabine. Uh, actually, well, no. We're actually, we actually come back to Ahsoka, still in the in the whales. Um, so, but you know, we get another cameo from um, Hayden Christian as Anakin Skywalker. He's um, doing these recordings. I man, I want a Force Ghost. I I just want, and he honestly, he kind of looked off in these recordings. I don't know if it's just me, but he looked way too old for the. Like he looked way older. He, he looked better in the flashbacks. Than this recording, and he looks really old. He looks like he is 40 in these recordings. Um, so I don't know what maybe they couldn't get the de aging to work with the filter or whatever. I don't know. Um, but he looked a look, he looked really old in the in those recordings. But it was cool to see him. I like Aiden Christian. Um, man, I just wish they did with more with them. I I just do a full just do a full on TV show with them as Darth Vader, please. Get, get, get even more flashbacks. Give a give the man a job. Give the man a full time job, please. Uh, and so, yeah, that was cool. I mean that that's a that's a big positive, and it's and it's good to see, see Ahsoka back in her old form, like you know, smiling and all that. You know, she's like you know you know being her like you know herself from the Clone Wars. It's it's really cool. I like that. This this was a cool moment. But then we go back and next. Um, I don't, well, let's just stay, let's stay with Ahsoka. We'll get to the Sabine. We'll get, we'll talk to Sabine. I forget which order it goes. Um, but so they come out, of, um, they come out of hyperspace. And um, the, so this is what, they, there's just a bunch of full of space mines out there. I see, the thing is, <laughs> they look like there were way too fucking many. Like this, those space field mines fucking covered up the whole fucking entire planet, and it's ironic that they knew that where they were gonna come in exactly. And I guess because they had, you know, Night Sisters and that Balthrod knew that uh, where they were coming in exactly at that point. And so, I yeah, it it was a cool scene, I guess. But it's like if this man had all these mines, well, how the fuck did he you know how the fuck is he still stranded here or something like or how did he come upon these mines like it doesn't make any sense that he got all of these and like in his this one star destroyer that he was stuck with that is barely functional um had all of these like so it looked way too looked like it was too many um yeah more like member berries i guess like you don't know like um the uh, the robot in this one, I forget the robot's name, you know, he sort of makes a sort of callback to C uh, C-3PO um, and Empire Strikes Back about, you know, about the odds of surviving this space field or whatever. Um, yeah, and Ahsoka kind of hides in there for a bit. Um, then we cut to Sabine, 
where she's with Ezra, and um, this is where I officially fucking hate her. She is pissing me off. She is just, like acting like it's a normal, you know, chill day. It's like a Saturday. Uh, it's just like, ah, oh, I'm putting her fucking feet up. Like, yeah, just laying back and just you know, chilling out. And like, and Ezra's asking her all these questions. Like, you know, we get a, sort of like a recap on, you know, the original trilogy. Like, um, yeah, Empire Lost, um, and Emperor Dead. Well, some say that he's dead. So, <laughs> and that's the fucking sequel side. And, and he asks her all these important questions about like how she got here. How, um, where's Ahsoka? Because Ahsoka got mentioned at some point because they mentioned her, tra um, Ahsoka training her. And Ezra goes like, wait, what? That was my reaction too when I found out. Um, but, and, and she just goes like, yeah, that's complicated. Fucking tell them. Just fucking, you're literally telling him all this other stuff. You're not, and you're not telling him the most important fucking stuff. Like, tell him this. And next we'll get to that other stuff later. And, but no, she's just chilling back and letting, letting Thrawn basically fucking getting ready to sh get the fuck out. He's getting ready to leave. Like, he is about to bolt out of here. And she's like, yeah, it's whatever. I'm just going to chill here with you. Fucking, ah, do the... Do the important stuff first, and next we can bond later and catch up on things later. Like this is like a stuff that you you know, talk about on your way back after getting the hell out of here and knowing that you know whatever. Like we know that Thrawn's gonna go back no matter what, but it's like fucking have smart fucking writing. This is dumb. Like I hate this. I don't. I, Dave Filoni wrote this, and it's unfortunate because I like Dave Filoni and I think he should be the person in charge of Star Wars. But man, this this fucking this season. The season of Ahsoka is really pissing me off. It's really getting out. I've been trying to, I want to like this season, but I officially can't because of the, how fucking terrible the writing is. It's really bad. And I don't care how many fucking Easter eggs of Star Wars are in it, it's not gonna make me like it. It's not. Good story writing will make me like it. <laughs> it's weird that, you know, Thrawn, especially like going back to uh, like Ahsoka and all that, Thrawn uses his Night Sisters to, you know, uh, find Ahsoka. So if you're telling me if these the night these fucking night sisters have the capability to see the future and locate other people, how come they you know he didn't use them to you know find Ezra? Just they, I, okay, I, it's, just, it's just like. You have this capability right here, and as you use Sabine, like, because Sabine could go, it's like, Sabine will do the job for us. Yeah, he, she will bring out Ezra. It's like, you, you have fucking night sisters. Use them and go kill Ezra. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. It li and he, he's with a fucking tribe that doesn't know how to defend themselves. All he has to his ability is the force. He has no weapons. So it doesn't make any sense. And it's really dumb. It's really bad, right? It's, it's, it's really bad. Because why also are these Night Sisters really helping him? I mean, maybe it's because he's the only one with a ship and they're like, you know, ticket uh, getting away from this planet because they're really scared of this planet or something. Because Balin wants this power um, that he seeks for. I don't know. It's fucking, it's dumb. I hate it. It's, it's, really, it's just like there's so many fucking plot holes and there's so many like loose tight ends that they're not, I don't think they're going to, you know, tie up in the final episode. It's going to be, What's, I believe what's going to happen is either they're going to get left behind and next, somehow for the movie that Dave Filoni wants to do that this is most likely setting up um, they're going to get back before the end of that somehow or <laughs> I, I, I swear if they do this fucking right I swear if they do the writing where they put on fucking stormtroopers outfits and sneak their way on before he teleports, it's it's gonna be the most dumbest writing. Because how the fuck did the Knights just not predict that? Like, I don't, so there's a lot of fucking issues that this, this show has now for me. And it's really, really hurting. It's really hurting me, uh, for, hurting for the show for me. It's, which another thing, the Night Troopers are not really like anything special. They don't burst into gas or whatever, which is kind of disappointing. Just to point out something that's just, I, 
whatever. It doesn't be cool. But no, the real people are somehow surviving this whole entire time. So, yeah. How did they survive off of limited food? I don't know. Maybe they killed this whole entire planet, and that's why the Nine Sisters are one of these. Like, man, fuck it. You, you killed all of our fucking resources on this planet. Now we're fucked. Yeah, you're gonna take us out of here now. I don't know. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh, yeah. Balin, um, yeah, so Balin and his, and his uh, princess, um, you know, he goes like, yeah, you go down there and fight them. I'm gonna stay up here because you're on a different path and you seek power for the Empire. So you go do that. You, 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 you. What? I, where did this come from? I, this, this is, I don't, I don't get it. This is, this is dumb, right? This is honestly really fucking dumb because it's like, wait, why all of a sudden this change? Like, yeah, you, your path is on a different path. My path is on that path. And we're just going to go our separate ways. So that means they, he doesn't really care about her at all. He doesn't even go and help her at all. Like she is struggling. It's like, yeah, thanks for sending me, send me down here. Where, you know, we, we have Ezra fucking Ezra down here, you know, who is one of the most talented Jedis ever. It's you know, you're going to have, I'm not right. She can barely fucking handle Sabine with a fucking lightsaber. And people are saying like, yeah, Sabine didn't do shit against her. Sabine hold her own ground for a bit against her. Don't give me that fucking shit. <laughs> don't, don't give me that bullshit. And she's not going to do well against Ezra at all. She's not ready. She's quit and she is clearly proven because she lost easily like that, like simply like that. So that was dumb writing right there because if we had the previous writing with Balin, he would not have sent her down there. It, he wouldn't. And, and so, and he also abandoned her. He, she, he left her there and basically she could have died. So good job, Balin. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and Ahsoka hops, uh, hops down there at some point to help. Um, it was cool. I mean, her interaction with Ezra was, and her, like, you know, reunion was a lot better than fucking Sabine. She was like, she actually hugged him and whatever, and she was like, actually, you know, laughing. And it was like, you know, she was actually very excited to see him. Like, somebody, you know, after being missing for 10 years, how somebody would act. But, yeah, Sabine's the worst. <laughs> she's the worst. She's awful. Um, I'm gonna, I don't, yeah, and next, the uh, next the episode kind of ends that way type of deal. Um, Ezra doesn't want his lightsaber back. I thought that was kind of weird of writing. It's like, of course, my out here, here. It's like, yeah, but you're surrounded by, you know, 50 freaking stormtroopers. I get they don't really, are not really, they don't shoot their targets well either, but it's like, just take it, take the lightsaber. Um, he, and he wouldn't take a blaster, but he takes a blaster from a stormtrooper anyways. Yeah, that's pretty much the episode. Um, I feel like Thrawn was definitely a little bit more stupid in this episode. They did find out that, you know, um, he did find out that Ahsoka is Anakin, um, was Anakin's uh, Padawan, so that was cool. I like that. that was, and he was like, got, he got, you know, got scared a bit. He's like, she, she might be unpredictable like his master. So like, there's some like, you know, chess playing uh, in his mind, but he's just, it's honestly, he was a little bit, you know, he used, he kept going to the Night Sisters for help. And it's like, he never really figured anything out for himself. And um, he just asked for the Night Sisters help to pinpoint where everyone was. And it was really, it was just dumb. It, you're not really using Thrawn to his full ability. Mostly probably because it's Disney and Disney is not, we're not, we're not gonna get Thrawn from the books. We're not gonna get that Thrawn because that Thrawn's cool. That Thrawn's a badass and he does actual fucking dark ass shit. But we're not gonna get that Thrawn because um, fuck, fuck you. I'm gonna give Ahsoka episode seven a D plus. I fucking hate this episode. There's tiny bits that I really like, but this is my least favorite episode. This is like bottom of the barrel, my least favorite. I don't like it at all. Um, yeah. Like, there's, like, from the visual perspective, it's all cool. The lightsaber fights between Ahsoka and Balin was cool. I guess that's something I could have mentioned. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I really I really don't. The show has officially lost. And um, we have one more episode to go, so maybe there could be a redemption for this show or something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's not looking good officially now for me. I, I, if you're enjoying it, great. 
nothing to be ashamed of if you're enjoying it. But for me, there's too many problems with it when it comes to the writing, the story, um, and it's just characters being fucking dumb. And it's, you know, basically a char character assassination. That's what it is. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.